Hello, Pathfinders. Um, today, I am testing a new tool. And I can get a better distance from the phone uh, because I purchased a little microphone here. <laughs> so you can hear me better and I don't have to yell so that the phone picks it up. So this is this is awesome. And I am wearing my little cap here because the sun is pouring in as usual. Um, I don't mind it. So I just have to wear a little bit of a protection here. <laughs> so so I, was, I was thinking the other day for our reflection today on Thursday uh, on hearing loss uh, chat that sometimes, you know, technology can be very overwhelming. And we just don't want to use it or afraid to use it or, you know, just can't deal with it. Just, you know, it's, it's too much. So, and it might be a piece of technology that helps us a lot. It could be a uh, new type of hearing aids. It could be, um, you know, a doorbell in our home or it could be, you know, and sometimes for ourselves, it's, it's really hard to, um, to want to use it, we're fearful, it's like, you know, what do I need to um, to be able to use that piece of technology? And maybe it's not you necessarily that has to uh, install the technology. It can be somebody else that installs, you, installs it for you. Um, it can be, you know, something essential as alerting you of, of the uh, fire alarm or the smoke alarm and y you have no clue on how to set that up and that is okay you don't have to know we don't have to know necessarily what is necessary to install that piece of technology so my recommendation which i usually in these reflections i don't put out recommendations or resources but <laughs> But in this one, you know, we can look at from another angle. You know, if I don't like it or it just overwhelms me, I can have someone else install it for me. And um, and that is awesome, you know, to, to have a family member, have a friend install it for me because it's just too much for me. So, um and that's okay for us to say it's a little bit too much for me, uh, but could you this install it and let me know um, what kind of things are needed to keep it going. This Sometimes they have batteries that need to be replaced. So um, that's important to, to figure out, you know, and to ask your friend or your family member who's installing it, does it have batteries that we need to put in and batteries that need to be replaced. So, so that's something, you know, to know the essentials of, of that piece of technology. So, um, you know, and, you know, if, if you have hearing aids that are too complicated, have too many gadgets, you know, let the ideologist know it's, it's too much, you know. And sometimes due to other disabilities or due to our age, um, we, we feel overwhelmed with, with that piece of technology. And what pieces of the technology we don't need to um, deal with at all. You know, we can just ignore it or the audiologist can shut it off or, you know, so many other things. So, you know, things can be simplified. Things can be simplified um, for you. Uh, so keep that in mind. You know, there might be a piece of technology that's good for you that will help you, but can be simplified so that it, it doesn't overwhelm you. So that's really important. Um, if the ideologist offers you, you know, X, Y, Z piece, um, then just say, yeah, but can we shut this off or that off because it's too much for me, too much. So um, when it gets to be too much, you, it's important to say so. This is too much. <laughs> I can see how it's helpful, but it's too much. So, and that is okay. It's just where you're at. <laughs> I had I had a member 
I'll tell you this story. I had a member who I really wanted her to be able to hear me. And she was losing her hearing. And, you know, I had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with her that would she be willing to see an audiologist and see if there were hearing aids that could help her. Because I really wanted to have that deep conversation with her and and for her to be able to hear me. <laughs> so I was, you know, so she said yes to me that she would go. So, so they took her to the audiologist and the audiologist and her had that, you know, important discussion about hearing aids and what hearing aids would help and yada, da, yada, da. And at one point she said, <laughs> she said, you know, Doc, I have heard everything that I need to hear in life. And I don't feel like I need hearing aids at this point in my life. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> That was the end of the appointment. <laughs> so, so she came back and she told me how the appointment went. <laughs> so, and I, I profusely thanked her for at least trying. At least, you know, <laughs> at least going <laughs> and listening to what the ideologist had to say. So I, I really thanked her for it, doing that. <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> so I wrote to her everything I wanted to say. <laughs> and I said, yeah, it's it's true. You don't have to have hearing aids. <laughs> so, and I gave her a big hug. But <laughs> sometimes that's where we're at in life. <laughs> and that is okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that, that sometimes things are okay. You know, even though the other person or your family member really wants this for you, but it's too much. It really is too much. So, and I forgot to turn on the, the microphone. So I'm hoping you'll be able to hear me, but now I have the microphone on. So, um, but I just want to say that sometimes things can be too much and that is okay. Um, it might not be okay for the next person, but you have to be true to who you are and what you feel you can handle and what you can't handle. And that's, that's basically what I wanted to say in this video. So um, I'm hoping all of you are well, and I'm, I'm grateful for all of you uh, coming and listening to me for a little bit, babbling here, <laughs> this reflection on Thursdays. And um, I'm hoping everyone is safe as well. And I will certainly see you in the next video on Tuesday. Take care.